Alex Car Doctor back with another Diag video. Today I have a, a interesting one for you guys. Today, um, yeah, I think the customer brought their vehicle in after refueling with fuel and after that it cut off. I kind of have a, oh well, the sun is in my eye. That's kind of why I'm looking funny. Let me move out. Yeah, right there. <laughs> That's better. All right, so I kind of have an assumption of what it's gonna, what it's gonna be. But before I make any assumptions, you know, always do your checks and tests. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be running through you guys with today. Just how to test and make sure that your car doesn't have diesel fuel in it. Quick tip, dealing with diesel fuel, um, BP. BP is the only gas station that I know of that the diesel is black. Uh, any other gas stations, well, the handle. Um, the handle that you grab is black and uh, that's the one that's diesel at BP. Um, any other gas station, Quick Trip, Chevron, all the diesels are green. So people get it in their head, their mental thing, they always go for the black one. And I think that's where they messed up at. Um, they went for the diesel thinking it was gas. But let me run you guys through the checks and let me go ahead and show you the car now. And um, we're, we're gonna jump right into this thing and figure it out. All right, guys, this is the car. Um, I am going to be without a camera um, woman because, like I've mentioned, my camera lady is um, pregnant and she's getting tired. So this is the 09 um, Nissan Sentra that I mentioned, and this is what it's doing. Well, it's dead right now. So I'm going to pop the hood and get my jump box. And guys, don't be cheap like me. I got this burn from messing around with this cable, this jumper cable. I kind of did a quick repair on my um, jump box and <laughs> by this not being heavy duty, it gets really hot. And I picked it up one day and burnt myself. Sorry about the camera angles if it's bad. Just, you know, bear with me. My wife will be back to, um, you know, to film things. All right, so let's see what it's doing. But first off, let's make sure it has gas in it. That's number one. So it does have a quarter tank. So it act like it want to start. Another telltale sign that it may have diesel um, if it puffs out white smoke when I'm trying to start it. Diesel is very, like, oily. And when you put that in the gasoline engine, it's, it's going to smoke. There we go. Let's see if it's smoking. Let's see. I see a little smoke. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera. But it's starting to smoke. Oh, it wanna start. But anywho, take my word for it, it is starting. The next test I wanna do um, is pull the check engine light codes. I'm actually gonna skip that um, the only reason I say I'm gonna skip it because when the first the car first got here, I did pull the check engine light codes already. So um, I think I've seen a couple of misfire codes, which is normal to see when um, you put diesel in your car. So how to get to the line, um, the fuel line, it's right under here. It has this like little protective thingy on it uh, and I'm gonna need a, uh, a quick release tool to get that off now a lot of people will mistake the fuel line as this little green cap right here this is not 
the fuel line. This is the EVAP service port. So it's always going to be labeled green on every car, every car. So what we're going to do is get my little uh, quick release to now I am going to put a link in the description and um, cause this is the wrong one for this. Um, as you see, I'm about to have a hard time with it because it is wrong. And as you can see, also I'm being very lazy. I don't want to remove the cat, the engine cover. So I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna shove it up in there. And be careful because anytime you disconnect any fuel line, there will be fuel spray. I'm gonna put a link in the description for the kit. And I'm gonna buy one myself. Like, when you have a run in a shop and I am free with my tools, sometimes stuff get lost. <laughs> so, my kit is in need of replacement. Come on up. There we go. Not much spray. All right. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys that on camera. I've already pre-took samples of fuel. I'm sorry I did cheat a little bit. Um, <laughs> just because I kind of wanted to make this video, um, you know, quick. Um, so I did cheat a little bit. I've already kind of assumed the issue. Anytime I normally assume an issue, that's normally what it is. I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything, uh, but sometimes that be the case. So <clears throat> I want to show you how to take that off because the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this off. The next step is to like get a fuel can or a hose, attach it to right here and attach that to like a five gallon um five gallon gas container and pump have the car pump itself out if that makes sense it's very easy to do there is a plane going over my head so hopefully you can hear me but it is very easy to do there's two ways you can do it if you have a scanner um i try to walk you through the scanner process some cars you can just um activate the fuel pump with the scanner and it'll pump itself it'll just keep pumping um until it run out of fuel and the other way is probably going to be the most common way for you guys at home without you know special tools still take every way requires you to have something under here so the fuel can run out um but the other way is to cycle the ignition key on and off on and off now on some cars you actually have to bump the starter like bump and it'll activate the uh activate the fuel pump i think on nissan's you have to bump the starter the third way is to access the fuse box uh, let's see and find the fuel pump relay um uh, some car yes this one has a fuel pump sub relay so i would find that and this is actually the easiest way for me um find that and let me see if i can give you guys an example and you can trip the relay and just let it pump itself if i can get the dang on thing up uh, where's my needle nose it's a little lock in here Okay, and I'm trying this camera thing on my head just to see how it's gonna work. Um, and so just write down in the comments and tell me if you guys like this view or not. Uh, hopefully you do because I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos like this. Um, temporarily, not long-term or anything. Now, I'm gonna go grab my relay kit. So I can show you guys the pumping process with 
my relay trip kit or you can kind of let's see this is the power oops nope this wasn't the um i read the thing wrong hmm that was the horn all right the relay art is in here somewhere i'm glad i'm not jumpy because <laughs> i powered the wrong thing hilarious okay so we have radiator fan daytime running lamps radiator fan so it doesn't have one um it doesn't have a fuel pump relay but that was just a quick example as you saw i did set off the horn so i guess that i was successful at setting off the horn um i I guess on this particular motor, you just have to keep cycling the key unless you have a nice expensive scan tool, uh, which I will, I promise to show you. So I am going to show you. But before I do that, before I go get my scan tool and activate the um, the fuel pump, I'm going to show you the, the fuels, my fuel samples. So these are my two fuel samples. Um, on the right, what do you think it is? Write down on a comment below. On the left, again, which one is which? So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you know, please pause and write down in the comment and tell which one is gasoline, left or right. Um, take a quick look, hold it up in the sun. All right, time for the reveal. The one on the right was diesel. As you can see, it's kind of dark and um, it looks a little thick, but you can also do by smell too. You don't really get a big punch of like hit, hit like, but oh man, it's strong. But with gas, you get like a little hit, you know, it's like, ugh but this is diesel and you can do this test at home if you suspect that you have contaminated fuel um take a good clear bottle like so and um put it in a clear bottle and pump some fluid out of the car fuel out of the car and just compare the two that's a good little test known good fuel bad fuel well diesel mix also what you can do if you don't want to compare anything we all have lawnmowers laying around you can take a sample and put it in your lawnmower and if it doesn't run yeah you, you know the fuel is bad so i'm going to get my scanner real quick and set up another little bottle thing so i can just demonstrate to you guys um so i'll be right back Oh, I know where it's set now, or do I? Uh, yeah. Damn. All right, I'm back. So with the scanner, I'm going to. Nope, not that one. Scanner. Make sure my camera is straight. That's better. Find Nissan. So this is going to be my way of getting the fuel out if my Solus can do it. Um, it better is very expensive scan tool. But at home, um, you don't really need a really, really high dollar scan tool. Um, my first mid-level scan tool was a, um, not lunch, I just had it. Uh, I will put it down in the description before, below the brand. And I love that brand. Um, I just bought the, the, the big boy, which does everything. Um, 
I still like having multiple scan tools because sometimes this scan tool let me down and vice versa. So I will, I'll be switching back and forth. Vehicle does not support automatic ID. Okay. Uh, I guess I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to you guys. And let's see. I got something wrong. Is it a 07? I thought it was a 08. Let me see. No, it's a 08. Let's see if I can get in now. Performing system call. Okay, hurry up and call. Gosh, it took so long. Right, going to engine. No oh, communication. Come on, car. Come on, you can do it. All right, so I think it's in special functions. Um, I can do a fuel pressure release. Let's see. So, fuel pressure release. Okay, yeah. Go to fuel pressure release. Fuel pump relay is off. Press in to exit. Press yes. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um. All right. That wasn't it. Each vehicle is different. Uh, now, this is. Now this is where my lunch will probably come in. Not lunch, it's, I'm gonna get the name right one day, but here it is right here. I went to the wrong thing. Perform this test with key on, engine off, okay? And I can physically turn on and off the fuel pump, which it is on now. And you can see, I'll take you to it before it fill up. Look at that. All right, let me hear if I turn it off. Turn off, turn off. <laughs> I got it. All right. See, that's a pretty quick process. Now I'm going to show you the other process. Um, and as you can see, the same. All right. Um, diesel tank should go in a diesel tank. All right. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the last process. And then I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, now this is the process you guys are gonna be doing at home most likely. Um, hopefully you can see through the hood. So that didn't work, me cycling the key. Let's try bumping the engine. Uh, maybe because my scanner is still plugged up, that's why. Okay, let's exit out of that. All right. All right, didn't work. Bump it. So you have to bump it. So cycle the key and bump it. Or just turn it over a few times. But, okay, so you don't have to cycle the key. You just have to turn the engine over a couple of times. Yeah. All right. And that is the other process of how I get fuel out. Um this is a much better process this is a process i've been using for years and um guys write in the comments and let me know what process you guys been using and by the way this is a customer truck this is not some stolen truck uh even though it looks that way um i'm getting ready to do an engine swap on a tractor so i need the engine out of it the engine is actually good so he bought it for that purpose um like i was mentioning before guys 
Uh, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Um, that was just a quick way to tell if you have diesel in your car and how to get the diesel out of your car. Um, there are disposal plants around that you can take diesel to. You can just have, you just have to call around, um, to see where you can put the, um, dispose of the, um, bad fuel. Um, I can't help you there. Um, I have a guy that comes pick up all of our disposal waste. Um, but for you guys at home, you're going to have to call around to see, um, other than that, guys, please write down in the comments and let me know what are you guys tricks and tips on how to get rid of, you know, how to pump gas out the tank. Um, I know there's the method of dropping the tank, but that just seems so hard. But guys, write down in the comments and let me know. Here's the setup that I was mentioning earlier with the um, tube and the gas, five gallon gas can. Just make sure that you have good flow and the watch the level on the gas can you don't want it to overfill and spill everywhere good people look at my head see that that's from that camera thing being on my head uh, i hope you enjoyed my video Please, you know, like, subscribe for my head's sake. It's a little sore. <laughs> but hey, I do this stuff for you you guys because I love you. Um, you know, help support me by liking and subscribe. I didn't even mess up my hair. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I, I think it was very helpful because <clears throat> people deal with that every day. And people think they have to take it to a shop to retrieve the mixed gas or diesel gas mix so they can get their car back on the road but you can really do it at home yourself um i think i showed you guys everything i will write down in the link of the things that i use today um i also would put down in the description the it's like a a, a relay where you can just plug the relay in and just turn it on and for cars that has a fuel pump relay. You can just hit the switch and it will, um, it's a fuel relay bypass. So you don't have to sit there and guess which prong to put together. It's just so much better. I would put that down in the link. I know I didn't put it in the video today, but it didn't have a fuel pump relay. It, it's integrated in some kind of computer module or something weird. Um, some cars are like that, doesn't have fuel pump relays. But Alex the Car Doctor out. I will see you guys on the next video. Man. See you guys later.